Hello, everyone. Welcome. I have some fabulous new products to show you from Spellbinders in this video. And then we are going to make up a card using the clear stamp set of the month or March. And this one is called Wonderful Spring. But first, let me show you the gorgeous new card stock available in the shop. There are a lot of colors available. I'm going to go through these pretty quick. The first one is called Brushed Gold, and then there's also a Brushed Silver. They're a little more subtle than the Mirror cardstock, but if you want just a touch of shine, these are perfect for that. Let me pull one out just to show you. But it catches the light and it's just stunning, and it feels like a cardstock. It doesn't feel metallic to me. Here is the silver. I'll pull one of the silver pieces out. You can use all of the paper that I'm going to show you as card bases. They are all 100 pound, which is a nice heavyweight cardstock. I just love it. <laughs> so let's go on to some neutrals. I have Barely Peach. I think this one is one of my favorites. It's just so subtle, it has a tinge of pink to it. And then there is Snowdrift, which is a white. This one is called Silver Fox, and it's not as shiny as the brushed silver, more of a gray. This one is fun. This one's called Portobello, and it's like a craft card stock. I'm going to open this up just to show you. In this video, I'm going to be using my colored pencils on some of these card stocks, and this is one of them. The colored pencils look lovely on this, and it really reminds me of a craft. Next up is Alabaster, which is kind of a cream. And then this is graphite. They do have black, but I don't have my black yet. Okay, let's move on to some reds and pinks. This one is called pomegranate. Next up is wild berry. There's a touch of pink to this red. Next is poppy field. I'm going to pull one of these out. This is a gorgeous orangey red color of paper. And here's a close up look at it. And I just love this paper because it is such a heavyweight cardstock. This one is Dahlia. This is kind of a dull pink. And then we have a really light pink. It's called Pink Sand. And that's it for the pinks. Let's move into the oranges. This one is Terracotta. And then we have persimmon. Then we have saffron. And the lightest of the yellows is called beeswax. The light green is called peridot. And then it's subtly darker, but it's called rainforest. There are quite a few blues. So first we have blue spruce, which is kind of a greenish blue. Next up is Cosmic Sky, which is a light navy blue. I really love this one. Next is Lagoon. And then Teal Topaz. This lighter one is called Waterfall. And the lightest color of the blues is called Glacier. It's just a very pale blue. There are three purples, the darkest of which is Royal Amethyst. And then we have Lilac Blossom. And the lightest of them is called Purple Mist. I'm going to pull one of these out and show you. It's such a gorgeous lavender color, pale lavender. So the small die of the month is called Wonderful Spring. And this stamp set just has the most wonderful little bunnies in it. They are so beautifully drawn. I'm trying to figure out which color I want to stamp them on because I'm going to do a little bit of colored pencil over colored cardstock. And I decide to use the Barely Peach. Coloring on colored cardstock is something that I really love to do. It gives you a fun base color to start with. And this particular paper has kind of a fine texture to it. So I really enjoyed coloring on this. 
often I don't like to color on white cardstock just because there's no tooth to it. It's just too smooth and I can't get a lot of layers down. But colored cardstock is a different kind of animal. So I cut this down into a five and a half by four and a quarter inch panel. That's just a little more manageable to start stamping on. So I'm going to stamp all three bunnies at once. These are beautiful because they have the shading lines already on them. So they were very easy and fun to color in. I'm going to stamp these up using some VersaFine Claire ink. This is called Acorn. And it's a very warm, light brown. It is a pigment ink. So you do have to be careful not to smear it. Let it dry for a minute. But I'm going to stamp this up twice. The little face on the bunny on the bottom right didn't stamp out dark enough. I'll put my ink away, pull out the paper, and look how cute these bunnies are. You wouldn't even need to color them if you didn't want to. <laughs> but of course, I can't resist coloring. I'm going to sharpen up my pencils using kind of a new crafty tool to my craft room. This is called a brass bullet. And it just takes off a skiff from your colored pencils. It doesn't eat them up like some sharpeners do. And it has a nice weight to it. It's not like one of those cheap plastic ones that you can barely hold on to that just fall out of your hands. They're so light. This feels nice in your hand. It's just kind of a heavy duty little pencil sharpener. I'm using my Caran Dash Luminance colored pencils. And I just pulled out a bunch that I thought would work with this color of paper. I'm starting with my light browns first. I tried using white, but it didn't show up too well on this paper. Please forgive my voice. I'm getting over a sinus infection. It's just that fun time of year <laughs> that I always seem to get sinus infections. And then I go progressively darker with my colors. I started adding pink on this bunny's coat, but I didn't like it too much. So I'm just going to reserve the pink for their little ears and some cheeks and their noses. So again, I'm using the palest brown color first. I'll put a little bit of pink on their noses, ears, and cheeks, and then just start adding darker colors in the shadows. It's a really fun technique to color with your colored pencils on colored paper. So if you haven't given it a try, I highly recommend it. And then the outcome is just fabulous. It looks so pretty. You can also go the opposite way, use a dark colored paper, and then just use lighter colored pencils on it to put in the lightest areas. Look at these cute little chubby bunnies. So much fun to color. Here they are, all colored in. I am going to pop this back in my Mini Misty just to crisp up the lines. And this time I only ink them up once. It's all that's necessary. Sometimes the colored pencils can dull your lines. But look at that. They look like they're straight out of a storybook. They're so cute. I'm going to fussy cut them out off the camera. And then I'm using some Becca Fecan dies to cut out some panels for my card. We're going to do a little more stamping and coloring, this time on the Portobello colored cardstock. I'm going to color in the little flower wreath. And we'll just kind of snug it up in the corner of this hexagon. I'm going to use the same brown ink. And then I can just flip my hexagon paper and stamp it out again. And I am going to leave this on the door again so that I can re-ink it after I finish coloring in all of these little flowers. So I'm just going to be using three different colored pencils to color these in. I have a pink, a yellow, and a green. And I'm just going right over the lines inside this little flower images. I like to have a nice sharp pencil. So I leave my pencil sharpener out on the desk. 
so that I can keep the tips of these colored pencils sharp. Then I'm just doing pinks and yellows. The green stems, I'm just going outside of the lines. I just want the greenery to show up a little bit. It adds a nice touch to it. Okay, now that the coloring's done, let's put it back in the Mini Misty and restamp our lines. And I'll stamp the first one here, and then you can see what a difference it is to the other side of this panel. Such a big difference. Now let's stamp the other side. And then I do let, allow this to dry for a few minutes so that I don't smear the brown ink. Okay, let's make up our card base. I'm using a piece of the yellow beeswax cardstock. I cut it in half at five and a half. And then I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. I score it several times just because this is such heavy weight cardstock. And then I bend it using the edge of my scoring board and then just press the fold down flat. They just make up lovely card bases. I'll try to flatten it even a little bit more. <laughs> Such heavyweight cardstock that it doesn't close all the way. But that's all right. I like to use heavyweight cardstock for my card bases. Now let's put this panel on next. I love how you can see the yellow cardstock behind the filigree. Now for the portobello panel. These are all just going down flat. And then I'm going to pop up my bunnies with some foam adhesive. I'm going to use two bunnies on the outside and then one on the inside. I already stamped my sentiment. It says Easter greetings. And next I'm going to put a few colorful Eastery gemstones around this panel. I'm using some of the Barely Art Precision Glue. I like the really fine tip on this. I popped up my sentiment with some foam adhesive, but it just needed a little something more. So I'm wrapping some twine around the edge of it. If I had known I was going to do this, I would have stamped my sentiment a little more to the left <laughs> to give me a little room. But it turned out okay. I'm going to wrap it around the sentiment a few times and then tie a knot. And then I'll tie a small bow. One of the pieces of the foam tape that was behind this panel is still stuck on the card. <laughs> That's all right, I'll fix that in just a minute. So I'm going to trim down the edges of this bow. And then I can peel up that foam piece there. I try to put it down onto the foam piece, but I couldn't get it even. So I'm just going to fill it up again and put it on the back. On the back of this, you see another sentiment. I couldn't decide whether I wanted to use Happy Spring or Easter Greetings. There are a lot of beautiful sentiment stamps in this set. I'm going to use a micro dot behind the knot on this bow so that it stays in place. And here is a close up look at the finished card. I had so much fun with this one. On the inside, I used the third bunny as well as the sentiment that says, Wishing you all the wonderful gifts of spring. I'll have the links to the stamp set as well as to all of the gorgeous colored cardstock below and over at my blog. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you all have a wonderful crafty day. Bye.